here's the absolute three best ETFs for first time investors. I know it might be complicated or stressful to invest in the stock market, especially if it's your first time. You might be watching a stock go up or go down, not knowing when to buy or sell, or even wondering which investments are the best to make the highest returns possible with your money. Now what I do is invest in purely ETFs or only ETFs where I have my own ETF portfolio of well over $100,000 invested in ETFs. ETFs are short for Exchange Traded Fund, and it's a type of investment fund that can be bought and sold like a stock on a stock exchange. The benefits of an ETF is that it mitigates your risk because you have diversification, since you typically have hundreds of stocks in the ETF, and you aren't betting on a single stock's performance to go to the moon, but rather you do have hundreds of stocks, so hopefully the majority of those companies will go up and be long-term winners over time. So in this video, I'm going to give you three different categories of ETFs to own that provide dividends for those lower risk investors or investors who want cash flow in their portfolio, diversification and market matching returns for those investors who want just peace of mind, and the highest returns possible in the market for those ultra higher risk investors who just want to beat the market or the S&P 500. When it comes to ETF investing, I do have four golden rules. The first is to pick no more than two ETFs for any category. The reason why is it makes your portfolio way more simpler, easier to manage, as well as less stressful for you as an investor. The second rule is to always be consistent and dollar cost average into your portfolio. Dollar cost averaging, or short for DCA, is an investment strategy that involves regularly investing a set amount of money regardless of the price of a security. The goal is to reduce price volatility as well as to lower your cost basis on whatever ETF that you own. And ultimately, dollar cost averaging looks something like this, where you're consistently buying an ETF no matter if the stock price went up or went down or whatever news hit Wall Street. Let's say you DCA something like $300 per month for the next 35 years at a 10% rate of return you'll end up with a total balance of over $1.1 million. Bump that investment up to double of $600 per month, and you're looking at a total balance of well over $2.2 million. So now you see why being consistent as well as DCAing is so powerful, especially when ETF investing. The third rule is to choose ETFs based on your investing style, risk tolerance, and time horizon. For example, if you are a broad market investor, most likely you have a higher risk tolerance, you do not prioritize a dividend, you would rather prioritize capital appreciation, you want diversification, market matching returns, and you just want to invest in the stock market as efficiently as possible. For dividend investors, most likely you do not have a higher risk tolerance as something like a broad market or a growth ETF investor, but you do want dividends, perhaps as passive income or for cash flow in your portfolio but you also want diversification and some skin in the game for that capital appreciation, but not as high as something like a growth or a broad market ETF. For growth investors, most likely you have the highest risk possible, so you are ultra risky, you probably do not mind volatility or losses in the short term because you prioritize longer term capital appreciation in the long run, as well as you do not prioritize a dividend, and you would rather prioritize the highest possible returns to beat the market hopefully over the long run. Now that we have all the basics down, the fourth rule is to choose an investment brokerage or an investing app. Now there's so many investment apps to choose from, but here's some of the best investment apps I love in the long run. If you want an app that fits your goals, perhaps an app that you can have your money and trust in, then that's gonna be the app for you. Now that we have the ultimate guide out of the way, here are three of the absolute best ETFs for first-time investors. The first ETF category is a broad market ETF. The first one I like is VTI, Vanguard's Total Stock Market ETF. VTI is extremely diversified across large, mid, and small cap equity stocks, so you have literally exposure to every single stock in the United States of America. That's just under 4,000 stocks to be exact. 
Some notable ones being the big tech names, all stocks that everybody knows and loves from a broad range of sectors for ultra diversification. It has an expense ratio of 0.03%, an A plus score by Seeking Alpha, and a dividend yield of around 1.3%. And the performance of VTI has been amazing of over 12% annually over the last 10 years and over 15% annually over the last 5 years. The second ETF in this category is one that everybody knows and loves and that's VU Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. This fund tracks the S&P 500, literally one of the hardest indexes to beat since, well, forever. It has 500 different companies from a broad range of sectors weighted by market cap in the USA. It also has an expense ratio of 0.03%, another a rating by Seeking Alpha, and a dividend yield of around 1.3%. And the performance of VU has been great of over 13% annually over the last 10 years and over 15% annually over the last 5 years. I would suggest either VU or VTI because it does have a fund overlap of 87%, meaning you aren't any more diversified if you own both these funds in your portfolio. Now here's going to be other great broad market ETFs to choose from that aren't VU or VTI, so be sure to do your own research and when you choose any of these funds on your screen. The second ETF category is a growth ETF. The first ETF I like is QQQM Invesco's NASDAQ 100 ETF. Triple QM is just like the original QQQ, but it does have a way lower expense ratio of 0.15% compared to the original QQQ of 0.20%, so you can save a ton of money just on fees alone. It has 100 of the best performing companies from only the NASDAQ stock exchange, and it has higher growth potential since it mostly invests in technology stocks alongside other great subsectors of the tech sector like AI, software, and blockchain. Given that it invests in the NASDAQ 100, literally one of the best performing indexes of all time, even crushing the S&P 500, it has bolstered returns of over 18% annually over the last 10 years and over 21% annually over the last 5 years. The next growth ETF that I like is SCHG, Schwab's US Large Cap Growth ETF. Its goal is to invest in stocks that have growth-like characteristics and to hopefully go up to the moon. It currently has 231 companies, so it's a little more diversified into companies that are more popular in the stock market, but it is also heavily weighted into mostly the technology sector. It has an expense ratio of 0.04%, so it's going to be a lot cheaper to own SHG in the long run than Triple QM. SHG has had a great performance of around 16% annually over the last 10 years and over 20% annually over the last 5 years. Making both these ETFs great and amazing for long-term investors because they have heavily outperformed the likes of the S&P 500, so props to both these ETFs to outperform literally one of the hardest indexes to beat over the long run. Here's going to be some of the most amazing growth ETFs to choose from that aren't QQQM or SHG, so be sure to do your own research when you choose any of these funds on your screen. Now the third ETF category is a dividend ETF. I'm going to talk about more traditional dividend ETFs instead of covered call ETFs because covered call ETFs, especially for a first time investor, are going to be super complicated, maybe confusing and really hard to understand, so that's that. Most dividend ETFs invest in dividend stocks that pay a high dividend yield. Most stocks in these funds have been around for decades upon decades upon decades with very strong balance sheets and cash flows for those dividends. With that, the first ETF I like is DGRO, iShares Core Dividend Growth ETF. This one has a low expense ratio of 0.08% and A plus buy seeking alpha. It has a dividend yield of well over 2%, which might sound low, but hey, you do have dividend growth, hence in its name, where it has been able to grow its dividend consistently over the last decade, so you do get paid more, more and more money, every single year from dividends. DGRO has a great mix of both boring companies, 
but those high-flying tech companies as well, which has led to great returns of over 12% annually over the last 5 and 10 years. The second dividend ETF is SDHD, Schwab's US Dividend Equity ETF. It has a slightly lower expense ratio of 0.06% and a higher dividend yield of around 3.4% alongside amazing dividend growth that has been very reliable and consistent over the last decade as well. It too does have those maybe more boring and not as exciting or sexy tech companies because on the flip side it has had excellent returns of over 11% annually over the last 10 years and over 12% annually over the last 5 years all while paying a dividend that is a great and amazing along the way. With that here's both covered calls and regular traditional dividend ETFs that are going to be great and RND GRO or SHD but be sure to do your own research when you choose any of these funds on your screen. Now if you guys want to see my over $125,000 ETF portfolio, check out and download the Blossom app for free when you click the link in the description of this video or in the pinned comment below. Blossom is an amazing social media investing app that gets to show you every ETF in my three different ETF portfolios for my three different investing accounts. I get to show you whenever I buy or sell an ETF, whatever posts I make, and if you do give me a follow on Blossom, I will give you a free follow back and you can message me there anytime with any ETF questions only on Blossom. If you guys like this video, please give it a like because this cute puppy did. Right here is going to be a video on some of the best ETF portfolios once you have chosen all your ETFs. So get started with this video to start ETF portfolio investing in your new portfolio. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Continue to crush in the stock market and take it easy. Peace.